So why Toradex? Toradex is, I think, one of the few SOM makers or hardware makers in general who have understood that SOM doesn't stand for system on module, but for software on module or solution on module. So in other words, what I'm getting at is it's not the hardware where they can differentiate with Verisite, Avnet, Seco, and whoever there is, it's the software where they differentiate. So the hardware, well, it's an IMX8 uh, anyway, or even if you take some chips from Texas Instruments, it's the hardware. So processor, GPU, some peripherals, it's all the same. You put the Linux system on top of it, so some BSB, and that's that's it for most of the SOM makers, SOC makers, and so on. And it's not enough. So you need a lot more. If you look at what customers really need, it's not just the hardware. So they all have to build a Linux system yeah. and just the BSP, it's simply not enough. They all need something like, well, they have to customize their Linux system, obviously. And then they need uh, things like over the air update. Of course, everyone needs it. Typically, they want remote support via VNC or so. They need a window manager. They need secure boot. Yes, they more and more understand that this is a thing they need. They can't do it. It's IoT devices. They can't do without it. So they are connected to the internet. So they need a secure system. They need trusted execution environments. They need a communication between the microcontroller and the microprocessor on their boards. And hardly any of my customers uses the microcontrollers. They pay for it, but they don't use it. You could use it for real-time operations. You could use it for safety-critical operations because it's easier to certify. It's easier to handle than a Linux operating system. So that's some standard building blocks every customer needs. And they don't get it from the SOM SOC makers, terminal makers. Okay. They just get a very rudimentary Linux image. And Toradex is the only one who I think starts to understand that they have to offer more. The more is, yes, they have an over-the-air update solution by now. It's a solution. It's not some description on the wiki. That's not enough because that still costs time. And they have an over-the-air update solution, especially together with their Torizon container operating system. Yeah, they can even update the bootloader. They can update the Linux root file system, the applications. They can do that incrementally. And that's what I learned at Embedded World. And there's more. They are also building a module for secure boot. It takes a lot of time to get that working. And they are aiming at building a, a module that works out of the box. Fantastic. So that's something, say, I had a similar discussion with Verisite some months back. And they said, that's not possible to do that. Well, they will be proven wrong. It's possible. There must be a lot more than that. And Toradex has understood it. I think they have the luck of being a newcomer. They have to get into the market and try to gain market share from the incumbents. That's what they have understood. It's a solution they are providing. So the customers, the OEMs, say construction machine makers, agricultural machine makers, car makers, and so on, they don't have to do that over and over again. They just get it. And then they can focus on implementing their core application, like an infotainment system or on the driver terminal of a, an excavator or a harvester. That's their core business. It's not building Linux systems and all the standard building blocks they need. And that's Toradex understands it, gets it. I haven't seen anyone else who gets it. Okay, <laughs> understood. Understood.